Jim Jones was a young white pastor who opened a church called People's Temple Christian Church in 1956 when he was 45 years old. Uh, his son name was Stephen. Later, Jim Jones moved the church to Redwood Valley in 1965 in fear of bomb threats from Russia. As his congregation grew to the number of 2,000 members, uh, he purchased land in the country of Guyana, which is in South America, uh, just east of Venezuela. Uh, he promised his members that a that, uh, land that he bought would be a so-called promised land, a holy land. He named the city after himself. The city name was Jonestown. When his members uh, got to the country of Guyana, Jim Jones took all of their passports and uh, kept many of his members uh, in Guyana uh, there by force under their own will. He would not give them back their passports so they can return to the United States. But many messages was reaching uh, the U.S. that Jim Jones was keeping his people uh, there forcefully. So the congressman uh, had went to visit uh, Jonestown to check and see how the people uh, there were doing because they were still United States citizens. And when they got there, uh, the reporters and uh, the cameramen, Jim Jones and his workers would not let them into Jonestown. So finally they had to let the, the congressman and the photographers in uh, because of fear of uh, the U.S. But they only let them interview the people who Jim Jones chose to let them interview. And one woman was caught slipping the congressman a letter uh, that said uh, they're holding us here uh, captive forcefully and are not letting us return home to the U.S. And the letter was uh, retrieved and given to Jim Jones. So many of the people finally got their message across and cried to the congressman that they're holding us here forcefully by our own will. And uh, the congressman uh, had asked Jim Jones for their passports. And uh, the congressman had ordered that everyone who wants to return back to the U.S. Uh, can return to the U.S. Uh, that night, the congressman was attacked by uh, Jim Jones' workers uh, as he slept inside of his bed. That morning when they got up to leave, uh, more of Jim Jones' workers had stopped the truck load of people and the congressmen uh, who were leaving. They shot them dead with guns. They killed Congressman Ryan. They killed Patty Parks. And um, uh, the report reached back to uh, uh, the town where the people were at. Jim Jones made an announcement and called all the people together and said that uh, the Congressman Ryan had been killed. He told his members that uh, the U.S. was going to come back and uh, punish uh, the people of Jonestown. So he said to them, uh, let us all drink uh, a drink of uh, cyanide uh, mixed in uh, punch uh, as in protest of our rights and our freedom. And uh, many people had disagreed with Jim Jones, especially women, about taking the poison. So he made his people take it uh, forcefully at gunpoint. Many of them uh, ran and fled into uh, the jungle uh, where many of them were shot uh, leaving uh, as they ran. 20 people all together had got away and escaped into the jungles and the others who were caught uh, were killed. It took all together 20 hours for the United States uh, to finally get there and respond. When the helicopter from the U.S. had pulled over Jamestown, uh, 
the man who was in the helicopter said that he can smell the dead bodies uh, of the people uh, who were laid down on the ground dead. Altogether, 909 people uh, were killed that day for drinking the poison. And one of my mom's best friends, mother, uh, she also died that day in Guyana. Me and her granddaughter today are still best friends. 